Hello guys, so this isn't uh, the typical fishing video I do. In this video, I will attempt to repair my fishing rod because the ceramic in the metal ring has broken off. And what happens is that it starts to cause friction on the fishing line and in the end it just cuts off the line. And I've actually learned the hard way. I have a video about it <laughs> where I lost fishing gear due to that reason. You can check it out. I'll leave a, a link in the description of the video so you can learn from my lessons so this is my first time to replace this fishing rod ring I have a spare part here now I have never done this before but to my understanding what we should do is first of all to heat these two areas and then scrape off the glue to be able to remove the old rod ring and then attach the new one with a ceramic ring tie it around with around with a string to keep it in place and then I'm gonna use epoxy glue to really make it stick in the end also I'm gonna use my wife's nail polish to smooth it out a bit this could be really good or a total failure let's see how it goes and preferably you want to use a blowtorch but uh, I don't have that so I'll use a, a regular lighter you also should have a lighter that works <laughs> That was actually surprisingly easy. But now I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna use some sandpapers to smooth it out a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, just the rough edges I want to remove of the glue. Then let's clean it. <laughs> I'm using a baby wipe. That was good enough. Now just to hold it in place, just like so, just on that side. A regular sewing line. Since I will be using epoxy glue, that thing is super strong, so it should do the job anyway. So now that we have the string at the end here done, uh, let's remove the sticky tape that we attached before. By the way, if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe because I got a lot of content, fishing content, catching cooks, underwater fishing and so on. And then I'll just cut off the excess string like so. And this thing... It's super strong. So my plan is on here, use a toothpick. Now we'll just let it curl. It's already getting solid. Now when it has cured, we'll put a final touch. We'll uh, paint it with some uh, nail polish because it helps it protect it a little bit more. There we have it guys. It might not look perfect, but it does the job. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash the like button and I'll Catch you on the next one.